New up pack in the air, guess what? Can't still be a laugh right now if you niggas ain't gas them Give my shorty statements and guns, I tell them slap for nothing Everybody with this gang gang shit, so what is up y'all i am back to the back to the back at it again with another hair install and today i'm pairing with the lovely na beauty to bring you this beautiful install today in the package they sent me a ball cap and also some really cute pins you know you little styling styling but here we go this is a beautiful highlighted curly wig I wore this on my last video and y'all were so in love with it saying it was your favorite install ever so here it is the full install as you can see this is straight scalp like straight scalp y'all I'm gonna start my process by taking my rubbing alcohol and disinfecting my forehead this is just gonna prevent any germs and will help your install to last longer Taking my bold hold glue, I just went ahead and glued the cap down. I don't spray the cap down anymore because it does damage your edges after a lot of installs. So I just went ahead and took my bold hold glue just to secure the front of the cap down. And once you've spread that all out, you're going to want to go ahead and take your blow dryer and just blow dry that down. I'm just trying to shift the cap to make sure that it's secure and will not move. All right, taking one layer of my bold hold glue, this is the layer that is going to secure the lace down. I'm going to go ahead and put this all over the front of my forehead, making sure to spread it evenly, making sure that there's no clumps, no bumps, anything like that. We want our install to be sleek, clean, neat, and perfect. So go ahead and blow dry that down. Again, you can do up to five layers of this, but I stick with one since I change my wig so frequently. Make sure to disinfect everything you use with the alcohol, like your combs, your fingers, everything like that. This is going to make sure that your wig will last way longer. And again, everything's just going to be way more clean. All right, y'all. So let's get into this install. This is a 13 by 6 frontal. As you can see, the lace on this is honestly so amazing. You're going to see in the video how it just completely melts into my skin. NA Beauty has such a wide selection of different wigs and human hair. So I definitely would recommend checking the links in my description if you are interested in this hair. Since this is one of your guys' favorite wigs ever, NA Beauty definitely did it right for me so they can do it right for you too. So right now, I'm just making sure that my wig is in the right positioning before I finalize it by blow drying it and melting the lace. This is very important because you don't want your wig to be obviously too far down, too far up. You want it in the perfect position. So just take your time with this. Wigs are honestly all about experiencing it, doing practice, and just learning from your errors. So then I just went ahead and took my blow dryer and blow dried this down to melt the lace. Of course, you want to have that melted lace to get that slick. Where's my lace look? Like, where is it? I need help finding it because obviously it's gone. So now, y'all, we need to cut them ear tabs because my ears need to breathe. Like, hello. So cut your ear tabs and then we're going to move to cutting the lace. This is my favorite part. So when you're cutting your lace, I personally do a whole bunch of little cuts. As you can see, I pause between each cut. I never cut in a straight line. I feel as though this just makes the lace look way more natural and you get a cleaner and less noticeable lace. Then I went ahead and took my powder so I can go ahead and start to shade in that lace to make it look a little bit more like my skin color. As so y'all can see, just do that with the powder and you're about to look bomb. Of course, add some to the middle part. We want that to show, baby. And then I went ahead and just took some setting mousse so I can do some edges real quick. As you know, edges always look good with curly hair, so I had to do it real quick to them. I then set my edges with a headband. Of course, we have to shout out NA Beauty for this beautiful hair. But I took my hot comb and I just pressed my roots. Pressing your roots always will make your wigs look more natural. I do this with every single wig. So definitely invest in a hot comb. And taking that same mousse, I just went ahead and put that on the hair to make the curls more defined and beautiful so they can stay all day.
Let's reveal them edges, girl. Yes, you're looking slayed, bomb, all that in a bag of chips. To soften up my edges a little bit, I just took that comb and combed them out. But y'all, here is the finished look. I absolutely love this install and all the links will be in my description from NA Beauty. I love you all so much. Thank you for staying tuned in this video and I will see you next time. Love you.